Women make a lot of money, millions in profits in high ticket sales. They explode and blow up their profits when they put personal development ahead of making money and profits and sales in their coaching businesses. Whether you're a transformational life coach, a spiritual life coach, or a Christian life coach, whatever you call yourself, when you put personal growth before making millions of dollars or before making seven figures in your business or eight figures in your business, something powerful happens. Hello, beautiful, and welcome to The Prosperous Womb. One of the things that I do with my clients in The Prosperous Womb, it's not just supporting them to make the millions of dollars or the life that they want to build for their families and themselves or the legacy they want to leave in the world. It's basically focusing, prioritizing personal and spiritual growth, a deeper intimacy with the Holy Spirit, with Jesus Christ, with God, because this positions you for everything that God has promised to do in and through you. It sets you up to get up and do the thing even when you don't feel like it. And it positions you for what God has for you. A lot of times we make millions of dollars in our businesses or hundreds of thousands of dollars in our businesses. So we create the money and the income we want and we think we have freedom. But the true freedom, real freedom, comes from doing the things that we don't want to do. The things that build courage, that build our faith, that give us conviction in the outcome and results of the $100,000 coaching offer so that we can sit up here with unfiltered messaging and allow God to channel and work through us as vessels, disciples, his hands and feet in the world and support our clients at the highest level. So even if you're making all the money in the world and you think you're richer than anyone else in the world, if you are not growing internally, spiritually, you don't have what God wants and has for you. You are still at 1x of the 100x that God has positioned you for in the world. So what does this look like, putting spiritual and personal growth ahead of making money? Because when you grow as a person, you cannot make more, th more money than your body, your nervous system can hold. You can only make as much money as the growth you already have. So how much growth are you making in your business? How many books are you reading? What classes are you taking? What podcast are you listening to? What scriptures are you building your faith with? What are you speaking over your life? What are you thinking about your clients? It's not just creating your life coaching offers or your, or your health coaching offers and selling them. You get wisdom for how to ask for the sale. Wisdom for which is the best marketing platform for you. Wisdom for who to work with when you focus on your own personal growth and then you get the conviction inside of you that belief system that carries you to a place where you do not work with anyone but the people God has put you here to work you do not work with people who need you you work with people who want what you have who move fast without any excuses into your high ticket coaching offers that is when you start selling a hundred thousand dollar coaching offers and five hundred thousand dollar coaching offers at an integrity level not just to double your price or 10x your price or 20x your price but actually show up and make a difference in somebody's life because you have clarity in the work and purpose and assignment that God has called you to do and like Jeremiah and David you know that you have everything inside of you that God has put inside of you to do the work he's called you to do so you don't have to go look for somebody else's sales funnel you don't have to go look for somebody else's formula you don't have to do all those things because it's inside of you you are building it you're getting 1% better every single day and then the millions are byproduct the sales, the profit explosion are all byproducts of who you become and who you are being in the world. So when I work with clients, I want to build courage, I want to build boldness, I want to build faith, I want to build conviction, I want to build clarity. And we co-create that as we midwife their gifts. And we use the gifts God has already given them for that boldness, for that courage. They don't have to go hire a confidence coach or a mindset coach. They use what God has already put inside of them, they midwife that and build that conviction and clarity that they need in their business so that they're way more powerful. They show up in a way more powerful way. They don't have to wait until they feel like doing the thing. They do it simply because they've been in integrity with who God says they are. Here's what happens when you build um, spiritual growth and personal growth before you start to worry about your sales and your marketing and your strategy. Here's what happens in your business. You start to be your own word. You be in integrity with your word because you know you're the only one that knows all the lies you tell other people and all the lies you told yourself. But when you start to grow 
and become powerful from the inside out, you start to have integrity to the point where you don't charge less than the value of your work because that will be out of integrity with where God is taking you. You don't not do the thing. You keep your promises. And when you keep your promises, when you're in integrity with yourself, you are able to say the investment to work with me is a million dollars or it's five hundred thousand dollars because you know with conviction the outcome and result. When you don't, when you're not in integrity with yourself, it's hard to do hard ticket sales because the heart cannot lie. Your heart-centered, amazing, purpose-driven person, which means your heart will not let you lie. So if you don't keep your promises to your clients or to yourself, you cannot say with conviction, with 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 real power, the investment to work with me is 50K. You think to yourself, oh no, nobody's gonna buy that because you know you haven't been in integrity in some place in your life, whether it's with your laundry, with dirty dishes, with your spouse, with your sales, with whatever it is. If you've said, I'm gonna drink 10 cups of water and you've only drank two, or I'm gonna do this and you haven't done it yet, it chips away at your, your, your integrity when it comes to selling high ticket coaching offers, it really does. And that's why personal growth is so important and that, that deeper intimacy with God where nothing shakes you because with God by your side, who could be against you? Where you have so much power and conviction that nobody can cancel you because you can't cancel God. And allowing God to do the work through you so that the brokenness, the, the, the every part of you shows up. You don't have to try to be authentic because what comes out of you is pure, pure, pure Holy Spirit working in the world. So let me know how in your business you're going to position yourself for where God is taking you, for the people God wants you to work with, for the money God wants you to make in the world so that you can use that money as a tool to build wealth in your community, to support people who need the money, to build the schools, to do the charity, to help the church, whatever it is that you want to do with that money. Because that's the tool that God has given you to do the work he has given you in the world. Your goodwill, great. Your personality, wonderful. But you need cash to do the work. Okay? So let me know how this lands for you. It's been good having you.